Another inspirational event that, haf that happened a few years ago. There was this female French rapper by the name of Diams. Now this French rapper, in the year 2006, she became the most popular rapper in France. And in fact, in the year 2006, her album, her songs made it number one on the French lists. Within the first week only, she sold 50,000 copies of her album. And in that year, in the year 2006, she sold one million copies. But then as she, was, as she became the star in France, she felt something is wrong. She's not enjoying these parties and this life of stardom in France. She felt depressed. She felt something was missing. Her money was not helping us. Her fame, her reputation was not helping us, hel helping her. She was looking for something else. She went to every doctor and she says, no doctor could help me until one day she found the solution. She had a Muslim friend by the name of Susu. So she visits her apartment one day, very depressed. Remember, this is a famous woman, the most famous rapper in France. She's not just, you know, someone who's suffering from poverty or someone who doesn't have anything to do. She tells us about her life and how the media was following her everywhere. She became a star in France. She says, one day as I was depressed, looking for something different, trying to leave this negative life that I had, I went to my Muslim friend's apartment and then I saw her do something amazing in front of me. I saw my Muslim friend engage in salah and prayer. I saw her standing and speaking to God. She says, I was fascinated when I saw that scene. When she finished her salah, I asked her, can I also pray like you? Can I do what you did? She says, yes, of course. You're most welcome to do what I did. She says, I stood with her in prayer. And as I was doing my sujood, I was placing my forehead on the ground. I was prostrating. I felt for the first time connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She says, I found something which no doctor could give me. And then she converts to the religion of Islam. And now you have this explosion in France. She says, my society did not have mercy on me. The media started to slander her. Feminists started to call her a traitor. She betrayed us. I thought these Western societies are supposed to respect the decision of a woman. She made that decision. No one forced her. No one put a gun, put a gun to her head. But no, you see, they have a fundamental problem with hijab. Because they know if the hijab spreads in their society, they'll be in trouble. Many of their interests and agendas will go away. So she says, my society just lashed out at me. My nasty, she calls it my nasty society. They did not have mercy on her. They began to slander her, to destroy her reputation. But when she found Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when she found the beauty of the hijab, she did not care. And this is exactly what she said on French TV. These are her exact words. She says, I became a normal woman. When I wake up every morning, I know that I have to improve myself. When you carry God's love in your heart, you're fulfilled. Then she beautifully says, I am happy to the point that I have, happy, I have happiness in my heart which no one can take away from me. When she put on the hijab, she felt secure, comfortable. No one could take that from her. I felt no one could take that from me. And ne no one could take it from me, neither through taking pictures of me or attacking me. She beautifully wore the hijab, the full covering, the full hijab. And then she says, I have faith. I don't care what people say about me. This is the 
honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, my respected brothers and sisters. And this is what we learn from the message of a Sayyida Zainab alayhi salam. Let us treat the hijab with honor and dignity. It is an amazing status that Allah has given us. Let's treat it with respect. And let's understand the amazing impact that it brings to our life. Allah has only given us one chance in this world. Let's not waste this chance. Allah knows best. Allah is more merciful with us than our own parents. If Allah has prescribed a rule, a law, Allah knows why He's done that. And don't forget by embracing the hijab, you are holding on to your own independent standard. You're not following men and mimicking men and accepting their standard. You are taking the most honorable standard, the standard which has been created for you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 